all seen the tractor seats that the comfort bikes come with and and yeah that probably doesn't doesn't feel too bad when you're riding on them but obviously they weigh five pounds and it's not going to be it's it's not going to work for for an Ironman or a time trial or or any type of competitive riding the uh, some seats are really minimalistic this carbon shell which weighs you know just just a few grams but uh, there's there's virtually no padding on that but uh, for a short distance um, it'd probably be pretty pretty tolerable for some people. A lot of the saddles now have the uh, the open centers which is meant to reduce pressure from on the you know the perineal nerve under underneath there and, um, and and I get that complaint from both men and women as far as having numbness when they ride the bike and uh, uh, a common thing is just that the nose of the saddle is too high for a lot of them. I never position any saddles with the nose elevated higher than the back end of it. For uh, time trialing and uh, triathlon where people are riding big drops to the handlebars, a lot of times the nose of the saddle will often be, be angled downwards a little bit, you know, anywhere from one to four or five degrees, but uh, if you start to slide forward off the saddle, then you're definitely going too low there. But, but as the nose of that saddle elevates and, and you rotate your pelvis forward to get to the, the drops on your handlebars, it puts more, much more pressure on the perineum uh, and causes that, that irritation or numbness. And that's why some of the saddles are, are doing things to reduce that, like the, the Cobb saddles. Uh, you can see how the nose on that saddle tapers down to reduce some of that pressure. Um, the, other, uh, the other one that um, some people find to be really good is the, are the Adamo saddles. And those are meant to uh, accomplish the same thing. The Adamo saddles are meant to be ridden forward on the nose of the saddle and uh, um, for some people that really is a good, um, a good solution to the, to the numbness problem. Uh, you you kind of have to try different saddles out. Uh, it's, it's hard to look at somebody and go, this is the saddle you need. Um, there are some devices out there which supposedly measure pressure points. Don't know if I really buy that totally at this point in time. Best thing is, is if you have a, an opportunity to try different saddles to, to, to do that. If you put a saddle on your bike in, in the bike shop and you ride it on the trainer and you're going, this is uncomfortable, it's not going to get any, you know, it's not going to get better once you take it out on the road. So. The saddle is one of the key things to, to the bike fit. Um, the position of the saddle is, is important as well. Um, triathletes or elite triathletes generally ride on the nose of the saddle. Uh, I have a lot of age group people that don't want to do that. They like to stay back on the wider portion of the saddle and, and that's fine, but, um, but it definitely creates different dynamics when people when people are riding and as far as what kind of a saddle they can they can ride on so but if you look at the uh, the elite people in the sport and you watch where they sit on the saddle most of the time you can see three quarters of that saddle behind them and they're perched right up there on the front two or three four inches of the saddle